Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new setup. Uh, let's see how this audio goes. If you like it better, you probably won't say anything in the comments. I know Jamsaw will because he loves me and he watches the product after recording the product. Um, but unfortunately, he's not here. He's at a convention because he wants me to run both the A Show Smackdown and AEW all by myself. So, uh, you know, I killed it. I killed it. I, uh, I did a better job. Brother, brother, that's some bullshit. Oh, I'll tell you goddamn, what. with me as always is Wednesday Night Dynamite to Jam. So, how are you today, sir? As always, phenomenal, Brock. With that being said, whoo, what's that uh, popping up in my face? Oh, cake! Uh oh. Bur oh, hey, oh. So, as you know, Charlotte Flair uh, is our new women's United States champion. So,. What better way to uh, make her dominance known than go against someone who was supposed to... I was... Nikita Lyons was my Natalia of SmackDown, the U.S. division. I wanted her so badly to be the U.S. champion. But unfortunately, um, you know, we uh, again, since day one of se season one, we agreed. We give them the opportunity, and if they fail, I mean, it's their fault. We don't restart these matches. We don't... We don't rig the outcomes. We let it play as a go. That's what makes us different than everybody else. Because after four years, another creator would have been like, fuck it, I wanted The Rock to be world champion. But because he's never won the world title, I'm going to give it to him. And they they would have done it the first season. But, you know, because we get these wacky out outcomes like, like, uh, like on Ring of Honor, Gibson fought for both the pure title and the TV title, and he became so close to becoming a double champion. But with all these weird outcomes, it makes this better than the actual product. So uh, unfortunately, Nikita Lyons was never my U.S. champion. Charlotte Flair is my current. So with that being said, are you rooting for the current champion or a contender in the U.S. division? Well, of course I'm going to root for uh, Nikita Lyons, although I'm, I'm just a little disappointed that uh, she's still wearing a robe. Yeah, well, the match hasn't started yet. The ref has to ring that bell. He's just going to let these two... Yep, there we go. Well, damn it, ref. Ring that damn bell already. There we go. The robe is not doing her any justice. Oh, no, there we go. What happened to her, by the way? Um, I, I think she got injured, and she was out for a while. God damn. But I think she is either coming back or just recently made a comeback. I would fucking love that. But yeah, so like... Yeah, was... Unfortunately, I don't watch enough NXT. Mm -hmm. I, I already watch so much fucking wrestling. Yeah, we aren't Josh here. I just don't have time for more. We're, we aren't Josh here that watches 20 products. Yeah. But, um... Um... Yeah, so we got so like I said, we have new audio setup and everything. Uh, Jamsaw once again being the uh, technical wizard that he is, uh, we got the uh, computer set up uh, as uh, visual, and we got hooked up to the the microphone. So hopefully you guys like this better uh, because as Jamsaw knows, after doing this for four years, I always have two phones going, and it's uh, pain in the ass when. Uh, when your your main phone, which is actually your broken phone, is your main phone, and that that when you get to your product, and your phone's at fifty four percent, where the other phone is at twenty five percent charging, and you gotta you gotta hope that when you switch to the other phone, it's at least at seventy five. But you know, now uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Well, it should be going a lot better. At least it, it seems to so far. So I mean, far. Like anything, Discord can always, every once in a while, make a, a weird robotic -y type sound, especially uh, especially if the internet gets a little choppy at any point, yeah. which does happen from time to time. It's just the nature of the internet, but I still think it'll end up a lot better than uh, the way we had it before. There's a couple other tweaks that we will adjust over the coming weeks just to make sure everything goes through smooth. Yeah, and, and s sometimes Discord will like to uh, restart itself or whatever to where it cuts off all audio, and you do uh, you do an hour recording to come to find out uh, it picked up none of your audio. Ooh. Oh, that night was fun. Yeah. Oh, God. Unfortunate. Oh, of course, and this is unfortunate as well. Yeah. See, again, if I was any other creator, I would have restarted the match and made it to where Nikita won. It's one of those things where 
yeah, it sucks that you wanted that we're doing something different than somebody else, but then it's 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 Nikita should have fucking won. Should have fucking won. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. So what next? The first uh, right answer to me. Oh, damn! Already, we're not even that far in. I know. Well, you got to stop being right, bud. <laughs> So up next, we got one left. Save it for something important. <laughs> so as we get ready for Elimination Chamber right around the corner, my good sir, uh, we're uh, looking at people to fill the spots. And uh, we have a few names right now. We have a few names picked out. We're halfway through the week, through the month. We're halfway through the month. Uh, and any of these guys could be uh, could be in that uh, in that chamber uh, for that world title. Well, I don't think Billy Kidman will make it into the chamber. We'll see. We'll see. If if he gets a five star match, I gotta throw him in the chamber. Yeah, but I mean the only thing that's gonna make this uh, match a five star is if Braun runs a train on him. <laughs> if Braun runs a train on everybody. That's right, choo choo motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, nice. But 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 because Kofi beat Randy Orton in a non title match, uh at at the opening of Elimination Chamber, he gets a world title match. Well, you got to do what you got to do, right? Exactly. And it hasn't been really looking that great for uh, for uh, Xavier Woods. So, um, from what I gathered with the videos is that uh, Rand all he had to do was beat Randy to get a title shot. And uh, it was... Uh, hopefully the videos were going to stop. But we, we, get, we have word... That there will be a video tonight, and um, Kofi is not here tonight, and neither is Randy, so Kofi's not going to be here. Hopefully, he's not watching uh, the product when the video hits. But uh, we do have a video for you guys later tonight. Well, the one thing I will say about the whole uh, Xavier Woods situation is, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So if he survives, yeah, he will be like a phoenix rising from the ashes Ooh. and becoming. A stronger individual than he ever was as part of a new day. That's for sure. That is, a new day is coming. That is Kofi. true. That is true. And uh, we know the po the power of positivity will outlast anything. It's it's it's. So all he has to do is. Well, from the last video, it was day I believe sixteen. I'm not sure. It was up there in days. So he has been there for well over a week at this point because he was captured. Uh, uh, just before we ended last month, so he's been there a month now. So everything's everything's that that could go wrong is going wrong for Xavier Woods. Well, shit. Yeah. Boom! Nice. Nice kip up. Jesus Christ, Bowser! Jesus. Bowser. Why are you calling him Bowser? Because he's a huge like a King Koopa. <laughs> no, because he ran at uh, Brian. He ran after Billy, and he like shoulder pressed him while wrapping his arms and his legs around him very quickly. And uh, it just reminded me of Bowser, just a big, massive turtle. Uh -huh. Braun, if you go up, you have to hit it. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Night. Oh, damn it. Nice. There you go. Catch him with it. Boom. A huge slam. Love it. Love it or leave it, baby. There you go. Dropped. Oh, God. Billy's on his shit today, man. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Love it. Yep. Nice springboard. Come on, Billy. Oh, my God. Yep. There you go. Oh, I thought he was going to fucking body split. Okay. Oh, taking him back in. Trying to keep this match going. There you go. 
Boom! Love it. Come on now. Come on. Oh, he's going up again. Hit it, you son of a bitch. There you go! Cover, 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 cover. This is some bullshit. Cover! There. The usual it. Smackdown schmas. And with that being said, we actually got word that we have broken down the video as always, and we're about to show it to you guys after this match. Jamsaw, let us know what you think, and hopefully he's okay. Um, so obviously uh, the newest addition to the video that I saw was uh, on his, uh, on his right arm, he has a makeshift, uh, uh, arm cast, because obviously they're, they're in the Wyatt Swamp, and, uh, they don't have, uh, the best, uh, health care over there, so he's getting fucked up, man, and if, if you guys missed the end of the message, it said, see you at the chamber, so I'm hoping... The torture for Woods is done, but uh, what did you think of the video? Well, I thought like uh, that uh, so they're taking him out to the woods shed. Ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Woods man is just, again just getting abused, and I have to just reiterate: what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. He's not dead yet; he hasn't put down. But one thing I do need to mention is again we're seeing Heidenreich with no goddamn hey, hey, hair. Hey hey hey! Don't 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 you dare come at me! For, 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 I, I gave him the option to go with hair, and he said, no, he liked it better bald. This is some bullshit. It does not fit his character to be bald. <laughs> well, Stone Cold like wasn't. He's like an uh, Ubermensch with that big, blonde, picturesque hair. You know, and he should, he should, like, join up with uh, Gunter and, uh, what's his name? Kaiser. Lud yeah, Ludwig Kaiser. But then what happens... Kaiser and Gunter should all be part of a faction with him. But then what... Uh, you heard it here first, folks. It was my idea. You heard it here first. Yep. And he can call it uh, the Friday Reich Smackdown. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. So, once again, Gunner Scott going again against... Uh, uh, trying to hit above his, his weight class, man. Well, I mean, you know what they say, like, you can't keep a good man down. Yeah. You go pitch him in? You gotta keep trying, or you gotta throw in the towel, and I don't think he's ready to throw it in yet. No, not yet. Boom! Beautiful spear! Come on! Hit it. It's done. It's done. It's done. Two! Oh, come on, Gunner! Ooh, Chavo! Gunner, Gunner, Gunner. Oh, ref! I blame the, the ref, ref on that one. The way. I blame the ref on that one. Well, I have to agree with you there. It was definitely the ref's fault this time. You go pick him up. Punch to the face. Yep. Choke him out. Gunner, 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 do not do don't you dare Good tap night, out. Little beach. Do Gunner, don't you dare tap out. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought that was like the aftermatch taunting him. Oh, that scared me. God damn it, Gunner. Don't. Leg drop. Don't Give fuck him this. Give good old Hogan. 
Gunner, dude. I'm a Gunner, dude. What the fuck, dude? Gunner, more like Gunner. Jesus Christ, Gunner. I'm trying to. I'm trying to push him to be the, uh, the, 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 the next fallen Chris Benoit. I'm trying to push him to be that guy. <sighs> well, obviously not. Well, maybe you shouldn't be pushing him so hard. So up next, we got maybe a fatal... shouldn't be pushing him at all. <laughs> we got a fatal four-way with Joe Hendry and Matt Morgan. We got Elias and a Big E. God damn, it's good to see Big E back in the ring after breaking his neck, but, uh, I'll be honest... I still have yet to watch any match of Joe Henry's. You son of a bitch. Just saying. I guess, like, Joe Henry's like my Dan house, and I'm like, meh. It's a big deal. <laughs> Thank you. You understand. You finally understand. How does it feel to finally be in my mindset? Uh, kind of scary, lonely. <laughs> I want my mommy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it kind of sucks in here. It's dark and damp. I don't like it. That's it. Oh, at least there's a beer fridge here. There you go. Filled with the best of Canadian beer, my good sir. That's right. That's right. Some good old Labatt Blue Dry. Ooh, goddamn. That's that's what you got. That's what you have to bring when you come see Miracle May for the first time. Indeed. Bring. Indeed. When I make that trek, you can guarantee I'll be bringing a case or two of, uh, of Blue Dry. Yep. And uh, so that way Miracle May can meet Uncle Jam's on for the first time while Daddy and Uncle Jam's all get drunk in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> while the wives sit well, chatting. Hopefully it won't be cold in the garage this time. No, hopefully <laughs> not. Well, while, while the wives sit and chat because I don't know when the last time... Uh, Mrs. Jam saw held a uh, four month old. Been a while, I think. Like, even our friends, none of our close friends we've hung out with while they've had a small baby in at least five, six years. Oof. Yeah, so it'll be. Uh, so, if, so if you guys do say come down and. Because, like I said, I'm taking time off. It, the last two weeks of, of these months is when I'm taking them off. So I'm taking off December, February, and April. So if you guys ever trek down here in one of those months, that's when I'll be off. And the wife will still work, but I'll be off for two weeks. And uh, you guys can come over, and hang out. I'll be like, Miss Jamson, do you want to see the little one? She'll be like, of course. Is that a fucking question? I'm like, it absolutely is not. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think the most likely would be April, just because, like, driving in winter sucks. Yep, I understand. Oh, good God! The only reason why we, we, we saw you during wintertime was because of uh, was a work trip. Yep. That, and we were driving for the work trip, yep. which made, made it make sense, you know? And I was like, you're not staying in a hotel. Save your, true. Save your money. Joe Hendrick. Now back to the action. Like, let's stop speaking of great um, upcoming things and let's talk about the current great thing. Joe Hendry in the ring against Matt Morgan, one of the tallest motherfuckers in GM verse. That is true. He's one big beefy motherfucker. Huh? Yeah, he is unnecessarily huge. Oh, bye. Oh, never mind. So can you imagine? He's like. He's like giving Vince Man an erection huge. I'm telling you. So can you imagine? Let's say the dream happens to open the Elimination Chamber. Kofi beats Randy Orton for the world title. Now, if he beats Randy Orton, he has to defend that title at the end of the night. So he has to be in, so whoever wins, they have to be in the main event defending their world title in a chamber. So let's say Big E does a lot to impress to where he gets a chamber spot. Do you think... How how do you see it overcoming... Ooh. Kendo to the back of the head. Like a javelin. So if Kofi Kingston beats Randy Orton at the opening match for the world title and defends the title later at the night, will Big E help him retain? Or do you think Big E's like, hey, it's my time? Well, it's a tough call. I mean... Being a part of a faction, being a brother with someone like a brother, brother, yep, uh, it's kind of hard to get past. Uh, 
And like I'm sure Kofi would give Big E the opportunity to challenge him for it and have like that kind of brother versus brother uh, main event somewhere down the line as well. So, right. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, but I think uh, brother is thicker than water. Yeah, goddamn right. Bam! But Matt Morgan might get that spot. Well, I mean, if Orton gets that spot, then Big E's like, no, no worries, no challenge. I will go after Orton. There you go. There you go. But Big E focusing on Joe yep. Hendry right now. Well, you got to. However. You gotta focus on the unknown, because the known unknowns and the knowns of the unknown knowns I know. always uh, get you right in the cajones. <laughs> I know. There you go, Matt. Jesus. I know only too well. I get hit in the cajones all the time. It's like that scene in uh, Fighting With My Family, where the guy's sitting in the dad's off, off office, and he's talking about what he's gonna get hit with to get the buddy a job. And he pulls out a bo Jeez. bowling ball, and he's like... Come on, buddy. We all we all know where this is going. And he hits him in the. I feel bad. I still haven't. I still haven't seen that one yet. Oh. I did see the Iron Claw, but I didn't watch Fighting with My Family. Yet. How have you not seen Fighting Brother? I have it downloaded. I just have like tons of other stuff that I watch. And this guy says he's the A show, folks. Listen, listen, listen. Keep subscribing to him. Watch his product. But comment on mine, saying I'm the A show. You can go to Raw and say that that's the A show. That's fine. You can go to SmackDown and say that that's the A show. That's fine. Even that's right, folks. All you need to do is go to his shows and comment on each and every one that he is the A hole. No, <laughs> go he to Ring of Honor. Go to and Ring of Honor and, and say only want, and that you only watch AEW and you just went to the video just to comment that he's the A. -hole. Damn. But I do have. Unfortunate news that Ring of Honor will be going back to three weeks and then a big show. Because, oh, it's, 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 it's how it's going to be for the next season as well. It's the only thing that makes sense at this point uh, with timing. And like Jam saw on my, I talked about on his show on Wednesday with me working Sundays. It's very hard to get everything done. So it'll be Ring of Honor will be Thursday week one, Thursday week two, Thursday week three, and then Thursday pay per view, and that's how it's gonna be. But uh, well, goddamn. Yeah, I I know, brother, brother. But with that being said, Elias. See, I need Elias to be my world champion. That's what I need. Elias deserves it. Pitch him back in. Well, I mean, they do say that WWE stands for Walk with Elias. Yep. No, actually, it stands for Walk with E Big Show, or, or uh, E A Show. That's what it stands for, the A Show. But we uh, walk with uh, Ezekiel, his brother, who's not even here. <laughs> Was it really his brother? I'm still confused. No, no, it's not really. It's really him with the shaved beard. Are you sure? I'm 100 percent positive. I don't know, folks. I think he's pulling my leg. He's pulling a KO on me. Well, at least it's not a Jericho. Oh, you son of... I can... Folks, I'm not going to lie to you. I completely forgot about Jericho. I completely forgot. And you just reminded me. I mean, he always lives rent-free in your head. I'm not worried. You son of a bitch! Nice, Elias. <laughs> Call it like you can see it, bud. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Elias! Oh. That's fine. Nice knee. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Part Pepperidge Farms knows. Did you ever see that episode of Family Guy? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yeah, well, yeah, I had, I do remember that one. But I, I also remember the Pepperidge Farm commercials where you would do. Oh yeah, Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Boom! Nice. Ooh, misses that sledgehammer. Boom! Boom! Good God! Ooh, to Biggie's <laughs> face! He's like, fuck, fuck your spike. <laughs> Joe Hendry wants that, that, that chamber spot. He definitely seems to. Joe Hendry's like, eat this fucking lead, brother. I think that's right. 
Steel to your mouth, bitch. Oh my god, and that would be an ex if that busted every tooth in your front row, that's gonna be expensive <sighs> to fix. Pick them up. Well, that's why. That's why I believe wrestlers are entitled to health care from their <laughs> from their company that of choice. Yes, I agree. Nice, Joe. You get your salary, and we cover all your medical bills. That's how it should be. Nice leg pick. Yes, snap his ankle. Joe, Joe. Nice. Ooh, there he goes. Oh, Elias taking advantage. Here we go. Uh, Henry was going to just chuck it at his face. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that, that's the one thing. Is just chucking shit at people. That's the one thing I'm glad that they got right in 2K24. Is they they brought back throwing shit. Oh yeah. There was a a, a TikTok I saw where they they because the, every now and then I'll get a video where it'll show the gameplay where they're throwing shit, and uh, uh, somebody threw a chair at Edge that was on the ladder and he fell off. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, okay, that's great. No, no, I mean, that's something they would do as a real spot, so why not? Exactly. Joe Henry looking good, though. Beautiful spine buster. Come on now. Cover. Ruff, 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 ruff. One, two, come on, Big E. Dick, damn it. Ooh. Joe Henry. Do you believe in Joe Henry? No, but I believe in life after love. Oh, you're goddamn right you do, Cher. Damn. Oh, God, a oh, damn. So up next, we have Caitlyn taking on the rear view herself. First off, I don't like Naomi's attire that she's been having where it cuts out her boobs. Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of that. It's, it's, it's not good on her. I am a fan of Caitlyn, though. That's right. She was still, she's still alive, so I was like, well, Randy Ray Orton, not, not me. Remember, Randy Orton brought the new roster and not me. Not me. I didn't do that. Uh, yeah. But he was like, yeah, she deserves a second chance. Because I believe she was Divas champion once. I believe. I'm not sure. You might have to look that up. But she deserves I think a... she was. She, she, she deserves a proper world title. Ooh, nice, Caitlyn. Yes! Boom! Nice. Takedown. Again, bitch! Bigger, nice work in that midsection. Love it. Oh yeah, Caitlyn had a. Uh, she got the champ and then had a major feud with AJ Lee. Oh, nice. How how long was that title reign? I'm gonna guess about forty six days. It was probably short. Let me see what it tells me. If it tells me, probably forty six. Pro probably under fifty. Because you know what, women weren't pushed properly. Caitlyn defeated Eve Torres to become the champion, held the Divas champion for 153 days. Oh my god! And then she fell down the card quickly after her feud with AJ. Yep, there it is. There it is. But she said no to Vince. That's right, no more blowies to Vince means no more champions for Caitlyn. Exactly. Why do you think Nick Nikki Bella was champion so many times? That's right, because she doesn't say no. Exactly. She don't know how to say no. Nice, Caitlin. Come on now. Prove you got what it takes. The, the Elimination Chamber is next, next Sunday. The Elimination Chamber is next fucking Sunday. Not this coming Sunday. It's next fucking Sunday. Girl, it's right there. Earn yourself a chamber spot. Earn yourself a chamber spot. But again, they only could do it too. Elimination chamber is coming faster than Vince in a men's locker room. Oh, you goddamn right. That's good shit. Nice scissors kick. God. Oh. Damn. 
Nice. Jump. Buster to the rope. Duck. Hit it. Nice. Jeez. Chase Louise. Alright, we're at two. It's fine. It's fine. It's still early. Nice. <laughs> There's a post on Facebook that says, that says, imagine taking pickles off of your burger. Grow up. <laughs> God damn. I love me some pickles on a burger. I do too, man. See, I don't like tomatoes. The only time I'll eat tomatoes on a burger is when it's a spicy burger to give it that that offset taste to, to balance the spiciness of the burger. Well, I'm, a, I'm against you there. I like lettuce, tomato, uh, cucumber, and jalapeno. Ooh, there's actually Taki that's habanero cucumber. Mm, the two taste really good, man. The habanero and the cucumber... Mm -hmm. uh, like you have a nice cool wet and a nice spicy crunch yeah yep. uh, and I usually put some uh, there's this hamburger joint uh, near my place I don't know if they have it in the state it's called Harvey's and they actually have a ghost pepper sauce so I'm like ghost Ooh. pepper on the meat uh, and then they have a, a garlic dill mayonnaise that I put on the on the bread they used to have tzatziki and I would have them put tzatziki there because like that cool yogurt and the ghost pepper together is like a perfect balance but they don't have tzatziki anymore, so I, I go with the uh, creamy garlic uh, mayo. Ooh, nice. And, uh, or garlic dill mayo. So it's like a little bit pickly uh, with uh, garlic. Uh, and uh, the lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, and jalapeno peppers, and it's just perfect. And, of course, the burger has to have bacon and cheese. Call your ex, and if they pick up, be like, this, this is another reason why we broke up. You're always entertaining your exes, then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi! God damn! Fuck, Caitlin! Come on! What is going on? Yeah, that's a shiny star right there, my friend. That, that is a sh not as shiny as Trish Stratus' retire in, attire in 2K23. True. True. Oh. I remember going blind a few times. So up next, in our main event of the evening, um... Oh, oh God! Wait, wait, wait! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! What did you call them? You didn't call them Adonises. You called them um, um. Oh, what did it begin with? It starts with an N, but it's not the N word you think. It's it's. It's not Nigerian queens. It's a different word, right? That's right. What the fuck is it? Um. God, you're gonna have to tell me. Yeah, Nubian goddesses. Nubian, that's right. New, the, so the Nubian goddesses are putting their tag titles on the line in this main event match against the four, not the former champions, but a former set the douche nozzles. of champions, the Bella, the Garcia twins, whatever you want to call them, the Bella twins. The jerk off twins. There that's we go. There. So I'm assuming. Sorry, Brian Danielson. I can't. More, more, more. Uh, one than the other, okay? Um, mostly, mostly if I can... Her. I'm assuming based on your comments and what you're saying, you're rooting for the Bella Twins to take the titles home. No. <laughs> I'm rooting for, for the Garcias to be injured and retire from it. No, no. We still got one more season, my good sir. As we know oh, right now. Yeah, one... you and your fucking Bella Twins and friggin' Jibbles. <laughs> you leave Jibbles alone. Can He's here permanently Jibbles on SmackDown. The trio no one ever wants to see. Uh, that's the video everyone wants to see. Well, maybe you. But <laughs> not me. No, a Fatal Four Way video with Kazarni. E no. Oof. Last thing I want to see is like an insane clown posse <laughs> reject banging two wannabe cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah, they're twins, but still. You know, it'd be weird if they did anything together, and that, what's the point of having two women if you're if they're just touching you? Yeah, whamming. Ooh, 
Ooh, get in there, Bianca. There you go. Come on, Cargill. Oh. Destroy her. So what do you think of what they're doing with Cargill right now? Well, I think it's all right. I mean, they're, they're still using her with with uh, Bianca. Yep. They're getting her some more exposure and practice time. And, I mean, it, it takes some time for the, uh, the fans to really go towards her. And I'm sure she will get a singles run soon. Yeah. But I think her first real feud will be with Bianca. It could be. It could be one of those cases where they're, they, there's, they're doing a tag team match, and it's not going well, and then they turn on one another, and then they build a big feud up. And, and then once that feud's over, whoever wins that feud will then go on for the title, and it'll probably be Jade just because Bianca's already won it once. Yeah. <laughs> I bless you. Oh, God damn it. I, I was hoping you wouldn't hear me. I'm a lady. You're not supposed to hear me sneeze. No, all I heard was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady. You're not the, supposed to hear me sneeze. Mm. Wow. Oh. I don't know. I hear ladies sneeze all, all the time. It's the farts you're not supposed to hear. <laughs> Pick her up. Free mode. Boom, you drunk... Anyway, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Nice. Nice, baby. Oh, yeah. I can't help myself. Try to eat some shoe leather. There you go. Oh, two count. Only a two. <laughs> don't let her get there. Come on. I don't know why they do that. It. What are you doing? That's that. That's the thing that they should have fixed a while ago. Ooh, nice. I mean, it's one thing if you're far away, but if you're standing right in front, then stop it. Yeah. Boom. Well, the worst is when they they're, she calls that the Flatchester. <laughs> the worst is when they're uh, they're they're so they're like right in front of them as they're getting a hot tag, and then they just start to taunt. Yeah. <laughs> you no. Know, Ooh, Jade. Boom! Nice. Boom. I can't wait for the DLC to drop with Jade Cargill. Get me a real Jade. Go away! Nice. I thought it dropped already, didn't it? I don't think so. If it has, then I haven't been on to to, uh, to uh, notice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was either this past week or happening this week. But I thought it was last week because I remember seeing uh, Smack Talks showing the entrance for her. Oh, I think it's in November. For some reason, I think it's in November. What came out in September then? Which pack came out in September? The McAfee pack. I thought that was in August. I don't. I don't think so. Because September hasn't been that long, and I, I haven't thought about McAfee in like a long time. Now let's see. WWE two K. And you're thinking of bringing the McAfee pack to AEW? Fuck off. <laughs> Here we go. Let's check it out. Nice. Come on, Jade. Nice, baby. Do, 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 do. do, do. capitalize. Titles are on the... Don't... Okay. Or focus on the other Bella. That's fine. Pick her up. KOD. Damn. Absolutely not. With the women of SmackDown, which I've switched to Nubian Goddesses. With that being said, they retained beautiful Elimination Chamber around the corner, folks. Uh, with, nice phenomenal piece. with that being said, uh, 
Links are in the description. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace.